we're back at Disney. Well, sort of. guys it's uh 6 30 6 40 in the morning and uh, we're getting ready to head head out on the road to meet meet up with uh the mystery youtuber i was getting ready to tell you his name but i just gave you a clue it is a he you already told him yesterday i didn't say who it was so we're gonna go meet him at seven o'clock at a restaurant called the yoke which is in rock hill so, I'm still tired. I only got maybe four hours of sleep. Tell me, is there a Yes. Alright, it's, it's almost 7 o'clock. We're about four miles away. How are you feeling? you get enough sleep? No. Huh? No. You ready for another day of driving? We got like eight hours, seven, eight hours till we get to Florida. Well, not until we get to Florida, but until we get to Orlando. we got to decide if we're going to stop at St. Augustine or not. But anyway, we will be, be there in three and a half miles, so. In two miles, exit two miles. 82A. To B the restaurant. C to the restaurant. Is on the I think it's in here. You have arrived at your destination. The route guidance is now finished. Can't see. So bright. I think it's over here in the corner. Yeah, that's it. There he is. All right. There. Here's who we're meeting. Good, good, nice meeting you. Everybody? Now you, the mystery is revealed. <laughs> Ronnie from Southern Food Junk. How y'all doing? Or Southern, is it Southern Food Reviews? Southern, Southern Food, food Junkie. Junkie. I was right, Southern yeah. Food Junkie. This is Brendan. How you doing? I'm recording him, <laughs> recording me. All right, <laughs> we uh, both brought stuff to each other that uh, food related. That um, Come bearing gifts. Right. <laughs> Since he's a food connoisseur, does reviews, I had to bring him uh, something to do with West Virginia, and we're famous for pepperoni rolls. And this place right here, I don't know if you can see it, Country Club Pepperoni Rolls. Um, pepperoni rolls were supposedly invented in West West Virginia. Hold on, let me get this turned off. Country Club Pepperoni Rolls. All it is is, is um, it's pretty basic. It's just bread with pepperoni baked inside. But Sounds good. The coal miners, the they they got famous because the coal miners, uh, the wives would just give them a hunk of bread and stick pepperoni. And then at some point, someone decided to put it inside. Put it inside the bread. But they these are from Country Club, and if oh, you make them at home, good, man. You know, these there's no preservatives because they make them fresh every day at this place in Fairmont where I live, and uh, you can get them. Those are just plain, but you can add mozzarella cheese or whatever, whatever. kind of cheese, or eat them plain, eat them cold, eat them warm, put sauce on them. Some people put peppers on them. You can put anything on them. I got some uh, some chow chow. This is uh, my mom's world famous chow chow. Oh, really? No, it ain't really world famous, but it's good stuff. And it's uh, it's basically like cabbage and uh, hot peppers, bell peppers. Uh, it's got some, you know, seasonings in there. Oh, anything um, spicy, I like. It's fairly spicy. And it's, it's vinegar based, so okay. we eat it around here. We eat it on beans, pinto beans. Uh, I actually eat it on. I don't eat hot dogs that much. I know yeah. this kind of sounds funny, but I like I like those are like sausage dogs. So uh, like kielbasa. 
could they, you know, while they're smoked sausage or bratwurst. They'd be good on scrambled eggs with that. Scrambled yeah. eggs, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like it. It's really good stuff. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Ciao, ciao. Excited about eating at this place, the yolk. Is this like a local place? Yeah. A chain? Local. No, local? It's no chain. Alright, let's go in here and see what Southern's eat for breakfast. Alright, what, what is that called? <laughs> this is called Two If By Land. Two If By Land. It has cheese grits, uh, sausage. Well, the sausage is, is an extra. It's got the, uh, two, egg, two fried eggs, cheese grits, and a, and a cast iron skillet. And it's got homemade in house sausage here. Sausage sourdough toast. Oh, look at that. Man, it looks good too. Look at that. The, bacon. Kitchen, like the kitchen sink, the omelet with everything. I think it's got like what, three or four different meats? Uh, Brandon's got his. <laughs> he got the kitchen sink omelet here. And they throwed everything they got in there in it. I love my bacon crunchy like that too. We got the mojo hash. Some type How do you like your bacon? Really Tennessee potatoes. And I don't know what that is. Like, you think it's bacon or? I don't know what that is. Oh. Well, let's quit looking at it and let's eat it. All right, guys, we just had uh, breakfast here at the Yoke with Ronnie from Southern Food Junkie. Had a great time. Wish we could spend more time with you. Enjoyed getting it's to know awesome, you. It's been awesome, man. It's been, been and, a real good time chatting. But we got to get on the road. We still got about a seven, eight hour drive till we get to Florida. And uh, we only had four hours of sleep last night. So mm. I got to get there before I start falling asleep. But anyway, I hope we can come back down again or you guys come up to us for dinner. Yeah, we might can do that sometime. So we'll make a little family little family trip up there. Yeah. So anyway, if you guys don't subscribe or don't know who Ronnie is, go to Southern Food Junkie and make sure you uh check out his channel, give him a like, give him a subscribe, and hit the notifications button. He does food reviews and does a little bit what else do you do besides food reviews? What uh I do food reviews, restaurant reviews, product reviews, do recipes. Some of uh, some of my recipes, some of uh, shared recipes, or stuff I grew up on. So, yeah, good channel. I enjoy I do watching. Do some it. vlogs too. He goes to the Pigeon Forge a lot in Tennessee, and yeah, so I, I and I love Pigeon Forge. Forge. So, we got a lot in common there, and we like to eat. And we yeah, like, I love to eat. We like to travel and see see different things. So, you gotta go on a diet though. Oh, I've been on a diet all my life. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to wrap this thing up with Ronnie. And uh, one last thing we, we want to tell you guys. Let's get, get food, food junk. junk. All right, guys, we just left Ronnie from Southern Food Junk Junkie. And we're heading on the road. Our next stop, I think, is going to be probably the Georgia Welcome Center. Yeah. So what do you think about Ronnie? He's cool. Yeah, we had a good time with him. Uh, we get we just talking was you know we just talked about everything and it was uh it went real smooth i felt like i've known him for years so thanks ronnie if you're watching this uh for meeting us uh youtube's great uh some of the people we've met we made a lot of good friends and hopefully uh ronnie will be a friend for life so thanks again I had a good breakfast and time to get on the road we'll see you guys when we hit georgia the georgia welcome center talk to you later well, we're Georgia, one state away from our destination, Florida. It's been a long drive today. We've gone over 200 miles. This is an awesome, awesome welcome center. Probably the nicest one I've seen in a long time. Let's go inside and check it out.
coming into Florida across this bridge, and guess what? It starts to rain. Well, for like two seconds. There's no more rain? It's like cloud. That was crazy. The Florida does it. It rains like, there it is, Florida. Look at it. We finally made it after 67,000 hours. And actually, how many miles have we gone? That's 701 miles. That's how much we've traveled so far. That's how much time we got left. We've got 180 miles to go, which is about three hours. Why does it flash like that on the screen? On the screen, it looks flashy. But... I don't know. It's just showing off, I guess. Anyway, we got three hours to go. And uh, look at all the palm trees. Oh, yeah. These are the. We, we did see some palm trees back in Georgia. And they're not as pretty as these palm trees, I don't think. And, uh, I don't know. Are palm trees native to Florida? Yeah. yeah not they're, California, though. Not California. And we learned that from Rhett and Link, didn't we? Yep. We're, list, we're listing a Rhett and Link podcast. Air biscuits. Yeah. And me, Brennan, might become Spanky and Brendan podcast someday, huh? Spanky and Brendan. Well, who is it, Red? It was his ride in the horse named Spanky. So Spanky's a pretty popular name. I think it's a pretty cool name. We made it. Let's go. Just for two nights before we go to Disney. We're gonna go freshen up, go to Disney Springs maybe, and then go pick up mom and Ava at the airport. Yep. Made it to Disney Springs. We're gonna go have some dinner, I think, and then we can about we got about two hours, and then we gotta be heading to the Sanford Airport to pick up. Patty, my wife, and Aiden. We're heading to Disney Springs. All the parking garages were full. So we had to park over at the cast member lot. And I think these bridges, pedestrian bridges, are new. That's pretty cool. See, there's a parking garage over there. And we had to park at Team Disney. Every time we come here, Disney Springs keeps growing. This was all tore up, and now they got their own buses, have their own lanes. It's looking really nice. Well, we had dinner tonight at Earl's Sandwich. It was incredible. I had the holiday turkey sandwich. Never had it before. I've heard a lot about it. And uh, it's definitely my favorite. Anyway, look at that sunset back there. It's a really cool night here. It's not humid at all. There's a, there's a breeze. And uh, we're enjoying ourselves. We're getting ready to go up to Sanford Airport here in about a half hour to pick up Patty and Aiden. But uh, Disney Springs has grown so much since last time we were here, and it's it's incredible. Imagine if that was mom and Aiden. <laughs> they become. They were sitting on the very back of the bus, I think. Why do you say bus? <laughs> the air bus. The air bus. What's he wearing on his shirt? Yeah, what is he wearing? Willy Wonka gold sticker. 
mom's filming us. That's filming her. Put the camera. Put the camera. Let's get it. Yeah.